Geotechnical Engineering Part A, Soil Mechanics Chapter 9, In Situ Stresses, let's calculate effective stress in a soil sample. So in this example, we want to calculate the effective stress sigma prime at A, which is located at the center of both layers. We have a configuration of two set of soil figure A and figure B and, and point A locates at the center of both soil sample. In one of the sample we have downward seepage and in figure B we have upward seepage. We want to calculate the effective stress in both soil at their center. Let's see how we can approach this problem. So we also know A stands at the center of both soils and gamma for Water is, is 1000 kilogram uh, per meter cube. So we do know water travels from higher head to lower head. So by looking at the figure in figure A, we can see by just invest uh, eye investigation, we can see this is the higher head and this is the lower head. This is our Z, which is our base, Z equal to zero. And for this one, it's just the downward seepage. And if you just move to figure B, you can easily see figure point B has a this much of water and point C has this amount of water. So definitely the head of water at B is higher than C. So we have upward seepage. That's what we can investigate by uh, our eyes. Let's, let's uh, verify our intuition. So let's calculate water head in both figures to verify our seepage direction. So this is the downward seepage, like what I talk about, and also this is the upward seepage based off what we can see in the figure. So if this is our base Z, for example, in at figure A, we can have HC is equal to the amount of Water at the top of point C, which is you can easily see that's a two meter plus one meter, is three meters of water on top of point C minus a downward a dive of negative one based off our Z, that's a negative one meter downward from our base. So H of C is equal to two. And if you just move to the point B, head of water on uh, uh, the top of point B is like. Four meters of uh, five meters of water. So this is all water at this is the level of water. This is four meters and plus one meter. That's the five minus five, which is a Z from our base, and it just gives us HB equal to zero. So definitely water travels from higher head to lower head. So that's a downward seepage. As you can see from C to B. So our direction for figure A was correct. And if we do the same for figure B, H at C here is positive one due to amount of water and negative one, that's zero. And HB is the total amount on the top of the head of point B, which is seven minus Z, which is a negative five. And in this time, it just goes from higher to lower, which is from B to C. This is also an upward seepage. As soon as we verify our seepage direction, we can just jump to our problem for calculation of sigma prime at A. For example, in figure, figure A, A is halfway through the soil. So if the total is four, we have two meters. Sigma prime at A is sigma A minus UA. So sigma A is a halfway through its two meter of soil, two times 21, 100. So that's the gamma of saturated soil, plus uh, three meters of water, that three times, three times a thousand, which is a uh, gamma or unit weight of water in SI unit, and it ends up to 7200 kilogram per. meter square, that's a stress force over the area. And UA is HA minus ZA times gamma W, 
activity. This h a y y one minus the h of a is a negative three. Z of a is negative three times a gamma w. This gives us a four thousand. You might ask where, how we can calculate this one here. Uh, we already calculated h c and h b. The early of this. Uh, video to to get the direction verify the c page direction so h a is somewhere uh, so at the at the center so that's the average of h c plus h b over two so that's a zero plus two over two, and it just ends up to be one and if you plug it in it just gives you four thousand let's back to sigma prime effective stress at point a halfway through it's 72 100, which is sigma a minus u a which is 4000 it just gives us 3200 kg over meter squared you can also solve this problem in an easier approach which is solution two we do know that's a downward seepage and in downward seepage effective stress is like gamma prime times z uh, gamma prime times z plus hydraulic gradient plus i because that's the downward space that's the plus i z gamma w so that's a gamma prime is 2100 minus gamma w this is gamma saturate if you subtract a gamma w of that it just gives you gamma prime uh -huh. and, and times the height of depth of soil which is two meters plus i z gamma w Z and gamma W is again two meters and 1000 I is hydraulic head. And that says hydraulic gradient. Hydraulic gradient is the amount of head loss over the length. So if our head loss is something like two meters, which we already calculated, the difference between C and B over the of four meters and that remains the same in all the samples that's a hydraulic gradient 0.2 over 4.5 replace in the equation and finally it gets the same answer like previous answer sigma prime a is is, is equal to 3200 kg over meter squared that was the two solution for figure a let's attempt the sigma prime this time for b again the same approach but different numbers sigma prime at a sigma a minus u a for figure b the same the center so sigma a is one times a, a one a thousand which is the amount of the height of water which is one meter as you can see here plus two times 100 which is gamma saturate for soil b and it just turns to be 5200 for sigma a and u at a it's h a minus z a which is again y minus a negative three times thousand which turns to four thousand and again h a is an average of h b and h c this time h b is two and h c is zero Add it up together, divide it, and just gives us a one and replace here. Back to sigma prime a. If you replace it, it just gives us sigma prime a is 5200 minus 4200 kg over meter square. You can also solve a soil in figure b by the easier approach as well, but you need to be careful in upstream, up, 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 up upward c page sigma prime is gamma prime z minus i z gamma w downward c page v at i z plus i z gamma but in upward c page that's a negative i z gamma w so if you replace that i remains the same gamma prime is gamma saturate minus gamma water times the height of depth of soil from c to a which is two meter halfway through if the total is four meter and, and it just gives us a, a 1200 kg over meter squared like previous method. Thank you. We'll solve more problem effective stresses.